Welcome to the Good Times I Share. Today we're going to be sharing with you a very nice, simple, yummy and tasty Frida recipe. We hope you're going to enjoy it as much as we did. So the first step to this recipe is you're going to get a nice big bowl, two and a half cups of flour, half a cup of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt and you're going to get 15 grams of yeast. For the type of yeast I'm using, it's activated by adding in a teaspoon of sugar for this amount. So I just mix them up together until I get this nice liquid. Then my yeast is ready for use. So getting back to our flour mixture, we're just going to mix all those dry ingredients together. And then we're going to pour in our yeast. The next step is we're going to mix in our yeast gently and slowly like that. And after this, we're going to start adding in warm water. For this mixture, I would recommend somewhere around 400 ml of water, but also take notes that you do not want to wet your mix too much, so keep adding in the water bit by bit. If the 400 ml seems like too much, you can add in a bit less, or you can add in a bit more, depending on what you want it to be like. So this is the texture we're looking for. Our texture is good, so now we're just going to cover this with plastic wrap and let it rest for about two hours on the counter. After two hours on the counter, our dough has risen. We have about three times the quantity we had started with. And we're just going to remove the plastic wrap. As you can see, there are a lot of air bubbles in there. So we're just going to mix this up a little bit just to get rid of those air bubbles. And now our dough is ready, so we now have a nice big pot with a lot of oil for frying in our fritters. Uh, I'm not so good with doing them perfectly, so I just use a spoon to scoop them, and hopefully they give me a good size and a good shape. I embrace whatever they give me. So after that is done, we're just going to be frying them. You keep turning them from one side to the other so that they cook gently and slowly on each side so as to make sure the inside is well cooked. So after they are nicely browned like this, we're just going to scoop them out of the oil. So my fritters are ready. You're going to repeat this process with all the dough that's left. And voila, for me, all my fritters are done. We hope you're going to enjoy this recipe as much as we did. Look at the inside. It's nicely cooked, nicely dry. Buon appetito a tutti. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell us what you think in the comments. Until next time, it's bye-bye.